out. Thank you guys for coming out here today. Dante Wright was a son, but he was also a father. And what you see here today is you see fathers and brothers and uncles out here demand, black fathers, uncles and brothers out here demanding justice for Dante Wright and all stolen lives. So we're here to stand in solidarity with the family of Dante Wright, the family of Tashira Galloway, the family of Hardell Sherrill, the family of Philando Castile, the family of Tamir Rice, the family of Eric Garner, the family of Jacob Blake, the family of Breonna Taylor, who all have been terrorized by law enforcement in the United States. So part of reparations is what America owes blacks is cessation, which means stop killing us. When we have our hands up and say, don't shoot, that's just not for fun. We mean that's, that. that. We mean that, and that's, and the United Nations means it also. Stop killing us. I would like y'all to just pray a little harder for this family because number one, it's not easy. It's never. not easy. It ain't never. And they have to sit here and relive Dante's murder all over and be able to stand tall and tell his story. You know, this is my very time coming to the scene. Well, uh, but to consider my little brother, George Floyd. I'm his personal childhood friend, man, that raised him, that put, gave him, taught him how to do security and everything else. A bunch of guys know me, a bunch of guys don't know me. Because I've been off the scene, like, not been able to get here. But I want to tell y'all that I love y'all. Because if it's one city I know in America that rolled for my little bro, was Minnesota. That's right. We do it again. You know what I'm saying? Y'all did a lot, man. Like when I say a lot, and, and I want to thank y'all. You know, I've been in y'all newspapers, you know, news and everything else, but I never had a chance to come here. Uh, here I am, and uh, we're gonna let y'all know that the Judge Reform Group and Families United are here. Yeah. That's right. For y'all, man, and we yeah. thank you for everything you're doing. We all uh, give our honor to Floyd's fiance, who was gonna be his wife. Oh, you know, and uh, it's, it's not easy. I'm on my way to the square, you know, it'd be my very time to even come going to the scene of the crime. But uh, I'm gonna give it to God, and I thank y'all that I have all the love around here for the family and everybody else, man. We're here for all y'all, man. We're here for the Dante Wrights, you know, the Breonna Taylor, the Martin Aubrey's and all. Yes. Uh, the Jacob Blakes and uh, we love you. So, um, first of all, not only um, was Floyd my, my baby, my man, um, but I was also an educator of Dante Wright at Edison High School. Um, on a side note, leave Edison High School alone. Stop writing them. Stop harassing them. Um, I'll quickly say what I wrote. <laughs> One thing that has been given to me through working through the Minneapolis Public Schools and Parks is that over two decades I have relationships with young people throughout the Twin Cities. People in Brooklyn Center will tell you that Kim Potter made a career of racial profiling black people, including picking on kids waiting at the transit stops. Kim Potter's excuse was that she mistook a gun for a cake for a taser. Being that her husband is a taser trainer for Brooklyn Center, one would think that she would be an expert at tasers. In fact, I would think that her muscle memory alone would have, have been a clear indicator that she was discharging the wrong weapon. It truly makes no sense to me. And like Judge Judy always taught me, if it don't make sense, if it don't make sense, it's a lie. That's right. I will not indulge Kim Potter's poor excuse of incompetence. If she was a woman of honor, she would have admitted her guilt and faced the consequences. But she's not. She's a coward. She's a murderer. Kim Potter stole Dante Wright's life. She ripped his future away in one move. Kim Potter left the Wright family with a lifetime of grief, trauma, and sadness. She left his friends with emptiness and mistrust. The state must find Kim Potter guilty. I beg of you, we must send, set a precedence in Minnesota that racist killer cops go to jail and we will never see another murder here again. Yes, sir. 